Hey guys, this is a quick video to show you how to repair your Lego 9 volt wiring. Um, over time, the uh, wire begins to age, and you can see this one's just hanging out there. Um, <laughs> the insulation starts flaking off and then basically becomes unusable. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to pop these apart and uh, put your own wire in there. I'm going to go in one side, I've got a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to go in right there by the wire. And I'm going to, in a twisting motion, pull this little piece back and push the inside piece up with just a slight little twisting motion. And be careful because you can just bust these things uh, all up and uh, makes it harder to get back together. Once you get to that point, you can go under and just pry it up. Just like that. Discard the old wire. What I do is inside of here, um, you'll see the uh, metal pieces that actually blades, uh, they go through the wire. I take my screwdriver and get them as close as I can to straight up and down again. And uh, make sure they're not going to short out. Uh, the bottom piece is good to go. So now let's take new wire. Um, this is 24 gauge um, speaker wire. Um, you can use any wire you like. I would pref I would think uh, 24 and 22 would be the best gauge wire to make sure that you uh, that everything goes smoothly when you're trying to get it into the connector. Um, all right, so let's take new wire. I'm going to set it in there. Leave a little bit of overhang on one on the other side because. You're going to take your screwdriver and push it down in there. Um, it doesn't have to go all the way down in there, but it just helps you get started. Like so. Uh, never done this on a base plate before. We'll see how it goes. But I just set it down on the floor. Get it nice. Get your wire just situated just right like that. Set the other piece on top of it, and in one motion, straight down. And then you can make sure it snaps all together. Sometimes I use a screwdriver. Push the other side in. Like so. And it looks pretty good. I like to keep the polarity the same, so I'll pull the wire straight. And now we're ready for the other side. So, I'll finish pulling this one. I've already got it somewhat apart already. Okay, that side's ready. Now, what I'm going to do... This will save you a lot of time to go ahead and check it with a meter. I've got my meter here. Put on the diode test where it beeps. And I'm going to, since my wire is pretty easy to see polarity, this will be the gold side. This will be the silver side. So I'm going to touch it to the top there where the metal is. And then I'm going to touch the gold wire and I've got continuity and I'm going to do the same thing on the silver side it's kind of a pain to do it this way but alright that's good enough and also Make sure to test across them from one side to the other. 
make sure you don't have a short. So that's um, you know, once you get it down and you've got some practice done, you can get it done in one swoop like that. I know this side is good. Um, what I'll do from there, I just take a piece of Lego, anything, to mark that side because this is the side I just done. It's good. There's no short. It's got continuity on both sides. Okay, now it's time for this side. And like I said, it's kind of the wires completely straight because that's how Lego wires are, just from one side to the other. Um, doesn't really matter, but it just helps you to keep your polarity straight if you're running. Uh, Maybe running two motors, and I don't know. That's just the way I do it. Now, just like the other side, I've got it ready. Now, let me bend these straight again and just make sure they're straight up and down. I'm not going to short out. And that looks okay. Put it on. Just like that. And I usually start with the far side, kind of, because that's where the wires actually punch, punch through on the far side. Um, Alright, we are completely snapped in. Now, the real test. And the test from the gold side on this one gold side on this one. Continuity. Now the silver side. That's good enough. It's a little flaky but uh, it's really kind of a meter and just uh, a lot of things adding up there. Now we test again for a short. You can test it on both sides if it makes you feel better. No shorts. We have a replaced uh, 9 volt wire and uh, that's the process I use. It makes it pretty quick and simple but it took me a little while to get it developed. Um, one other thing I'll show you, I've got several sensors here, uh, rotation sensor, uh, light sensor, temperature sensor and what I've done is I will strip the wires back, um, the existing wires, because I don't like to cut these things apart to get them apart. Um, you know, I like to keep them, you know, this is in pristine condition, except for here out. Uh, what I do is I cut the existing wire up to maybe, you know, here, just give, give yourself some room to play with, definitely. Um, strip away the insulation, which is probably already gone. Um, you're, you're just going to pulled away and have the exposed wires and you want to make sure that you keep them twisted separately. You're going to have two sets and you've got to make sure they're not um, shorting out and you know the strands aren't going over into the other side. And um, from there you will solder and heat shrink your wires. I'm assuming you're already familiar with that. There's tons of videos on YouTube on how to do that. And you want to keep it straight to your connector. The bottom here, bottom here, wire goes straight. And um, that's how I do that. I can do a video if you guys want to go a little more in depth. But, um, you know, on this part right here, maybe I'll do that later. Next time I have to fix one of these sensors. But um, it'll save you a lot of money. You can have uh, as long as you want, basically. Uh, Lego 9 volt cables. Um, I buy them on eBay, you know, tons at a time with uh, that are. The installation's gone. They're worthless to somebody else, but you know, with a little time and effort, they're good to go again. All right. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.